Okay, Comfy UI. It's a bit like programming, but using a node interface, a bit like this, where each of these nodes has inputs and outputs and options. If you ever wondered how to create your own nodes, I'm just going to show you enough to get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to build a basic calculator using Comfy UI. This is just going to demonstrate how we name our custom node using various inputs such as a string float and a drop down, calling a function, and utilizing output type matching to improve node output suggestions. That is this. When you drag something out, you get suggestions. So I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Now, this is a tutorial on a very specialized subject. It's not for everybody, but if you want to know the more detailed parts of Comfy UI, then consider becoming a member of my YouTube channel where you get access to all of my Comfy UI videos, plus many other specialized subjects that I've been creating videos on over the last five years. I've got about 650 videos in total on all these specialized subjects. Okay, so if you do want to take this further and you want a little bit of help with that, then ask questions through my memberships. And I may be able to schedule some more videos on more specialized areas as demand warrants. Anyway, let's create this custom node. Okay, so go to your Comfy UI, custom custom nodes folder and I have quite a few custom nodes already that I've been importing throughout the course that I've been building but I'm going to create a new one that is just something quite simple and accessible that will just teach us the basics of how to create your own custom node so right click and create a new folder new folder and call it comfy UI comfy UI and note the character case there not all nodes follow that, but I'll show you why that is useful in a moment. And it's not really essential, but it's just useful. Then add a hyphen and then call it something, whatever you want your node to be. So I'm going to call it calculator. Okay, so a calculator is not really something you want to use in Comfy UI, but this is just quite a good little quick example that we can all do. Okay, so enter that. Now go into there. Now create a new file. Just start with a text document for now. Just delete all the characters, even the .txt, underscore, underscore, init underscore underscore dot py okay yes that's a python file if i double click that it will open up me into vs code because i have vs code installed maybe it'll open up as a notepad for you if you don't have vs code doesn't really matter on my website you can copy all of this script so use this little icon at the top right there that's copied to clipboard now and then control v to paste control s to save Okay, so this is a minimal script that when we restart Comfy UI, it will create us a calculator node with some options on it. We can do things like add, subtract, multiply, divide, and modulus. Okay, back into Comfy UI. Might as well just tidy that up. Don't need it anymore. Now, just to restart it, I'm just going to restart it by closing this console window. I'm using the portable version of Comfy UI, so I can just close that. And I can close that window as well and then just restart a new one. Okay, and if I double click and I start typing calculator, you start to see there's an option there for basic calculator by SB code. Okay, that's it there. It's really very simple. Now we have two floats there. We can add these numbers up and the operation is a string. I can put in a plus sign like that. And if I run that, well, prompt has no outputs. Let's look at it. So string out. Right now, to view this, we can use a tool called, if you search for any, it's preview any, and it comes part of Comfy UI core. Okay, so run that again, and the result is 64.7. So it's very minimal little node there. We can do other things like multiply. Okay, so let's look at the code and understand why these things are like this. Now, the first thing here, it says calculator. That word comes from the name of this folder here comfy ui hyphen calculator and if i didn't write comfy ui with capital case like that it would have shown it through as whatever case i used hyphen calculator so for an example here comfy ui ip adapter plus if i was to add a ip adapter from comfy ui ip adapter plus it says here comfy ui ip adapter plus because in this version of ip adapter it wasn't named with a capital c and a capital ui so there we go for my version i used that character casing and it named it as calculator something like that okay so i don't need that delete that other thing too when i searched for basic calculator it said sb code also if i go into the node library here and scroll down there's one for SB code and there's my basic calculator. I'll we'll just expand that. That SB code is decided in the init.py. So looking at the code here, I just zoom in slightly. 
Okay, just have to manage restricted mode as we do in VS Code. Okay, so if I look down here, there's this option here called Category SB Code, and that's what decides this new category here in the Node Library SB Code. Now, Basic Calculator, the title also shows there. That's decided down the bottom here. Node Display Name Mappings Calculator Node Basic Calculator. Now this calculator node, which is also written there, is described in the node class mappings calculator node, which points to this class calculator node, and the class is declared up the top here, class calculator node. So this is Python. This is very minimal Python. It does get very in-depth. I do have many videos on Python in my memberships, if you're interested, on Python design patterns more specifically. Anyway, let's look at the input types of this calculator node. We can see there's number one, it's a type of float, and it's got a default. Number two is a type of float, it's a default. And there's an operation, which is a string. Okay, so there we go, number one, number two, and there's some numbers. And when I first started this, it would have been zero and zero, but I've changed it since. So there you go. And we can move it up and down by sliding. And there's the operation. I'm using multiply. If I press run, it's going to give me a result there. Now, this operation is just a string. It works if I use the correct mathematical operators, such as plus, minus, division, multiplication, and modulus, for example. Let's try mod that and see if that works. Okay, it did. But if I was to do something like add, it doesn't recognize add, it's going to give me error unknown operation. Okay, so that is handled in the code down here. Calculate. That's the function that gets called when I press run. That's decided there. Function calculate, and that's calculate there. It's taking in a number one, number two, and the operation. So those become variables in the function. You can see they're used here. Number one, number two, operation, and then finally we return a result. The error, which was decided there, error unknown operation, that is handled right down the end here, this if else section of code. If the operation passed in doesn't match any of these particular things, then error unknown operation. Now that's not a very smart way of doing something something like that, which has only limited options. We could do something like convert that to a drop down. So let's look at the operation there. Operation string could be anything. I'm going to comment that out and turn it into an array like so. That square bracket there, opening, closing, that converts into an array. This will show as a drop down. So control S to save. Now, unfortunately, we have to restart Comfy UI before we see those changes. So I'm just going to close that. Also close my browser. Okay, leave page and then restart Comfy UI. Okay, now that's left over from last time, but now when I click it, I get a drop down. So let's do that. Add and now I run that, and now there's a result 122 if I multiply like that. And so now that's a drop down. It's a bit harder to make mistakes on that. So it doesn't show me modulus because I've got to add it to my code, but I will add that to my documentation so that when you copy and paste, it will be there. Okay. And finally, let's make it so that when we drag that out, instead of getting something a little bit unrelated, we'll make it give us a preview any suggestion. So let's delete that for now. Back into the code. Down here in return types, it's a string. Okay, that's that there, string. If I just comment that out and then do return types a wildcard like that, that will then give us the option when we drag that out of a preview any node. Okay, so which means we have to restart Comfy UI before we see that change. So I'm closing it. I'm going to close the web interface. Okay, restart a new one. Okay, now it says a star there, which means wildcard. If I drag that out and let go, it now gives me the option of preview any, which makes it a little bit easier for the end user. Okay, so there are many output types and Comfy UI will try to show suggestions depending on that output type. So another example that you might have seen, if you were to load a basic checkpoint, load a checkpoint like that, and then if you were to drag out model, it will give you suggestions that have a model input. So K sampler, for example, has a model. Anyway, I've done something quite simple there or quite broad. That is the any, that's the wild card, which means any, preview any, and it just shows me as text. And we can run that and see that anyway. Excellent. Okay, so there's quite a lot to get started there if you do want to take creating your own custom nodes further. If you do want me to start creating more videos about custom nodes, then consider becoming a member. That way I will then schedule and prioritize videos more towards the type of content that people are demanding. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and consider becoming a member. Excellent.